Hi guys, I'm Brick Road. Welcome back to Let's Play Risk of Rain. I asked the patrons who they wanted to see in the next Risk of Rain series, which are the characters that I hadn't recorded yet, and by a pretty wide margin, they asked for the chef, which is understandable. Chef is one of my favorite characters. Uh, he's hilarious to look at. He's got great sound effects, and he's very satisfying to play. Uh, we'll talk about his moves a little bit um, when we get into the game, but the important thing to realize is instead of four moves, he technically has seven because his second helping move can be used to supercharge his other three moves. So three of his moves have, like, level two versions. What artifacts do I want? I definitely, I think I'm going to do some glass. Chef is way more fun with glass. Uh, let's do sacrifice, get the items dropping. Is that what I want? Just glass, sacrifice? Now nah, let's hop. We'll turn origin on. We'll get his majesty in the party. So here's Chef. Chef has the awesome, awesome boomerang cleavers. Check these out. And that might be my favorite regular attack in the game. The boomerang cleavers are just too good. And watch what happens when I overcharge it. I get a whole bunch of cleavers that shoot out in a big fan around me. The multi-cleaver attack. So that's a lot of fun. Um, he's kind of lacking as far as movement abilities go. This is all he's got is that oil slick there. That speeds him up very, very, very slightly. And its main use is to cover enemies in oil so you can, so you can ding them with the pan sear attack. Um, so if I overclock those moves, they don't really change like the cleavers do. They just get more powerful. The oil goes a little bit further so I can cover more enemies in it. And the sear attack does a little bit more damage. Uh, so a really good strategy with Chef is to... Maybe I'll be able to pull it off on this Vagrant here. No, let's get out of here before the boogers get us. Let's uh, back off the boogers. Yes, yeah, so cover them in oil. Overcharge. Ding. So good. Against bosses, though, it's usually better to get in their hitbox, uh, if you can, and use that. Like, if you just stand inside that thing's hitbox. Ooh, is that a telescopic sight? Sweet. Oh, yeah, for a lot of monsters, you stand inside of their hitbox, uh, the bosses especially, and use that multi-cleaver and get all the cleavers to hit at once, that's a lot of damage on those bosses, especially magma worms. Chef is the man at clearing away magma worms. All you gotta do is stand next to the magma worms that come out of the ground, throw all those cleavers out, all the cleavers will hit all those magma worm segments, and the thing just dies, like, right away. Uh, in fact, we, uh, my buddy McLean and I, I do a lot of co-op Risk of Rain with my buddy McLean, he and I... We're playing one night. I think we might have been both playing Chef. And we learned something. Uh, we went for the uh, the Magma Worm insta-kill, as you do. And we learned that even dead, those overloading Magma Worms, the blue electric ones that n absolutely nobody likes, uh, yeah, their, their corpses can still damage you. Their corpses are still crackling with electricity and can still kill you. So we learned that the hard way. Uh, but that's how you learn in Risk of Rain. You learn everything the hard way. There are no lessons that come easy in this game. I like the telescopic sight. Um, on a character like Chef with a fast attack like this, it's good. It's a blanket 1% chance to be an insta-kill against any enemy. But it's not the tier 3 that I would take for myself, given the option. Uh, it doesn't... It's not great to stack. I don't. It only stacks up to like 3%, I think. Um, so it's nice when you get it. But you don't always get it. And for the only item that I got in that level, telescopic sight... Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the hey hey, but would have preferred to have a little some something, something else. Um, what does Chef really want as far as items go? Movement. Without a doubt in my mind, movement of some kind. It's the only thing his moveset can't do. He doesn't get any iframes, he doesn't get any burst of speed, he doesn't get a combat roll or anything like that. Um, anything that can help Chef's movement makes him a lot more survivable, and that's a second tier 3 already with the permafrost. Freeze on hit, that's actually a lot better than telescopic sight. That is something I would have taken for myself, especially on a character like Chef, who throws so many attacks out so quickly. But yeah, things like a hopo feather, a red whip, uh, goat hooves, even a burning witness, anything to really speed Chef up and give him a little bit of mobility or verticality, really, really important for this character. Damage, he, he's, he's got it covered. Um, it's the survivability, and for Chef, moving is more important than maintaining health. Not that maintaining health isn't important, I'm not going to say no to no healing items, you know. 
but it's really mobility that this character was really lacking. And so sometimes on Monsoon, if you don't find that uh, mobility that he's looking for, it's going to be a an unsuccessful run, despite all your best efforts. Can I please get a Magma Worm? Yes. That's it! And there's my Burning Witness. It's being guarded, though, by an overloading... Oh, God. That was bad. I didn't see I picked up a use item, but hey, I'm glad I did. Alright, so, that was almost totally death. Let's get out of here. You see what I mean about the mobility? You see how slow the character moves? And there's really not a lot you can do about that except just, uh, try to use that oil to the best of your ability. So there's a little bit of regeneration and a butcher knife. Chef loves the butcher knife. Get that bleed on hit, because he can put a lot of hits out there. He can make that butcher knife sing. Which makes sense, you know? It really does make sense. Ding! We first heard that ding sound effect the night they released the chef. Uh, we, we were beside ourselves. We were having giggle fits. It was that good. Um, the night they released Chef, actually, uh, just a bit of trivia, was the night that I tried to record my loader run. They released Chef and Loader both, were the new characters they released in the most recent content patch for Rich Risk of Rain. And I had didn't try the loader out. I, we were streaming that night, and I streamed my first impressions of Chef. And like I say, we were having giggle fits. It was so good. Uh, but that night, I sat down and tried to record myself learning the loader, the other new character, and we got I got some good footage while I was recording, um, but it got corrupted somehow because OBS decided just to not to. So the next day I actually had to record a new set, which did not include my learning and did not include all my hilarious failures. Maybe that's for the best, because it ended up with a, uh, a punchier series with the loader for YouTube. So maybe that's, maybe at the end of the day that's, uh, really what needed to happen, but I was bummed about it at the time. Because I think they really uh, knocked it out of the park with both of the new characters they added. The Loader and the Chef are both super, super fun. Ding! Oh, I love it. If I had to pick one, though, I would say the Chef. Like, the Loader is more powerful. The Loader, in my opinion, is the strongest character in the game right now. Like... Just in terms of ease of use versus actual power level, I think you really can't go wrong picking up the loader. But the chef is just so gosh darn fun. Gotta believe that, right? So we did get a burning witness, so we did get a little bit of move speed, we did get a little bit of healing, and we did get some more damage. Um, so, okay, I think we're in good shape so far. As long as we don't have any terrible Mecha Spider mishaps on this level. I'm trying to think whether or not I'm worried about flying monsters in Stage 4 and 5. Because the overclocked uh, cleavers can... Uh, I say overclock. That's handy. That's not Chef. Whatever. They're both robots. Ooh, Monster Tooth is a little bit more healing. Uh, the second helping of the Cleavers can kind of take care of those flyers, but I don't think they'll kill all of them. We do have a Boar Beach situation here. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen right there. Did not want to get shot by one of those spiders. Um, It is glass, so the flyers, I can take them out pretty quickly if I can get them stacked up. We'll have to see what happens. Maybe it won't be a big deal because I'll get a little bit of verticality in this level. I'll be able to, uh... Jump? Oh god! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Asked Bricker to himself. I don't know why I was trying to stay up there and fight those dudes. I knew that I wasn't equipped to handle it. We'll have to go deal... We might have to deal with them later. Or they might despawn. You know, either way. Yeah, flying monsters, I think, if I die to anything in stage 4 and 5, it's going to be those flyers. Uh, Cremator is a real big problem for Chef, just because he doesn't have the, uh... You knocked him entirely the wrong way, Chef. 
That's okay, we love you anyway. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have the movement, really, to put any of my usual cremator strats to work. He doesn't have the movement to move quickly around that level and dodge those cremator bombs. So cremator could come down to a crapshoot if we run into a cremator situation in the next stage. We do have Boar Beach, though, so I can do this stage twice and hope, hopefully get some, uh... Get some more items happening. And the shirt that you pick up in Boar Beach is a little bit of damage mitigation, so... Can I just... I don't know if I like this as a kill floor, but... We'll see how it goes. Ding! I am killing things pretty quick. Oh, there's his majesty. Ding! Sorry, His Majesty. Had to happen. Uh, I think we're going to... Yeah. Throw out the multi-cleaver against His Majesty there. Shoutouts to RuneFox for sponsoring this video, and to everyone who makes this channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.